Alright. Lanterns. Larters at St. Andrews. Blue tees. Let's see what we can do. Bad start. Not so good. <laughs> How do I get out of here? One fifteen. Right through there. Can happen. Planning on it fading a little. Oh yeah, <clears throat> it's a good sign. Had a shot like this uh, in my round yesterday. It's like 70 yards, the whole green to work with, sitting up nicely in the fairway, and I think I hit it like 120 with this club. It was so bizarre. When I struck it too, I was like, that is on the point. Big hop. Oh, I needed to hit that better. Kind of clanked it. Is that a bogey? Blue tees. If this is a St. Andrews Country Club course or something, very cool. This is par five. Par five. Pretty long. Oh no! It's gonna work out, but look where that hit. We are not off to a good start. Okay, three shot hole anyway. Just gonna lay up. Try and hit one like 200. This is a beefed up, kind of like a four iron. I'll get this here. Get to there and turn hard. Oh wow, not good. Okay. Now I'm left with, what, 140. What? <laughs> Not as good as I can hit that. All right, little adjustment with everything. We are par four, two eight nine, and on this line, not right, great. Right. Play the fade. Knock it out there. I don't have a fade. I think I torched that. That was better. Almost in the middle. And it's a fairway. And it's 90 away. Also like a distance I've been struggling with. Where was that yesterday? 
I just find myself on the course, taking it back, and trying to go. And it's like, man, if I could just do that at the course, that'd be fine. Ooh, crazy hole here. Out of bounds everywhere. It's only 380, but I kind of I think it's a three wood. Just because it's so tight, or we just hit driver again. The driver has not been very straight. Oh no. Hit a tree. Okay. Ah, oh, I so crushed that. I hit a tree. I just want everyone to know that I definitely crushed that. What was the ball speed? Ugh. Okay, so that's a water, a miss fairway, and a miss green. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And <coughs> what water is this? Settle. Be a good shot. All right. The plan was to have live commentary, but the mic's battery went out, and it probably wasn't great anyway. And then you see me do this anyway. So we're gonna skip uh, kind of as quickly as we can through the rest of this. You'll uh, see most of it in pretty fast motion, like another one in the water. And so that's three. I think I was hitting six. So we're going to drop seven, hit eight. But at least I crossed some sort of hazard there. And I don't have to hit it again. I had this weird mental block about water for like four or five rounds during this. Um, I do get over it. But we'll take a nine. So not good. Going to have a lot of work to get a nine off the scorecard starting with a decent shot there but too far another missed green thirteen remaining go in nope didn't keep bending that way par on the card head over to the sixth a long par four 452 and I hit a spinny, garbage, low one. I've been trying to use those stickers to improve my strike, and I think it's not improving my strike. It's like I've been getting worse at it. So trying to get there from like 250. Able to get the bunker, which equals some more penalties. That actually made the green, but didn't make that circle somehow. Tough par 3 here, 208. I struggle with this one. Water left, too. I'm afraid to watch this. Yeah. Yep. At least I crossed. I got the three putt penalty and the water penalty confused, and so I ended up doing like a ton of ball slams. Luckily, that hangs on, and it's just a bogey.
but the round really getting away here at Larders at St. Andrews. Um, like I said, I was commentating during the round, and I still kind of am, but you won't be able to hear it because that mic went out. A nice little layup there and a nice approach. No workout there on the ninth or on the eighth. Ninth hole sits in the rough by a couple inches, but a hundred yard one in pin tucked in the front right. Chunk. That's kind of the name of the <clears throat> name of the round was Chunk City. I went through a weird period where the hands like had were way too <coughs> excuse me. The hands were way too active in the backswing and then like dead on the downswing and the club head just like launched into the ground. Hang on. Yikes. Not doing myself any favors hitting some bad shots here. 156 remaining. Decent par. Cool par four here over water though, so we always have to be weary. There's another chunk to make me feel good about the next shot. 145. That was a good shot. Just finds the rough. The workout getting extensive here. I'm kind of digging watching it in double speed. Let me know in the comments below if that if you want to get through these a little quicker we can uh, watch them at double speed and then comment on them I think we don't need to have that much time in between shots probably good off the tee layup there to leave a hundred and a good layup there below the hole just shy of a hundred so a good hole there on 13, 14th hole, 167. I gotta speed up now. <clears throat> Crazy pin location right there, guys. And a, a good par. I'm talking right now about kind of feeling where the club should be on the way down. And then I did that. It actually goes a long way on the correct side of the fairway. So it's going to be okay. 124 remaining here on the 15th. Chunk again. That one, because it was chunky, it rolled just inside of that circle for a par. And we'll head over to 16, a short par 4. But we'll just go to the other fairway with a huge slice is what the plan is. <laughs> Leaving 120 remaining, though, not... Not too shabby here. Left that one out right and long. So some Miss Green punishment and we'll head over to about a 20 yard chip. Decent little contact there. And a par on the card. Getting tired here, 17 and 18, kind of a nemesis in rounds past uh, could not hit a better drive there leaving 91 and hitting it too far and too left 101 10 yards too far need to dial in that wedge I have thought about bending that wedge uh, one degree stronger and then getting a 54 degree so we got like 49, 54, 60. Oh no. Okay. Aiming at the water, but not hitting. Yeah, hit that in the middle. It's like not hitting the right club to go in the water, thankfully. And then ruining the par 5 with a terrible approach that comes up 13 yards short in the rough. Just got to hit that out to the left, and it's on the green probably bounces up for a par dang 
11 straight pars after a bad start and a 78 on the card. We'll check out the analytics real quick. 28 putts, 8 greens, 8 fairways, 14 pars. Like and subscribe. Let me know about the two times. I'm kind of digging it.